Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, the Wanderlust CEO. Today we are talking about all things TikTok. I know you've already lost hours of your life to TikTok. That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about should you use TikTok as a travel agent to get more customers? Can you use TikTok to get more customers? Should you use TikTok? Is it right for you? So if that sounds interesting, keep on watching. That's what we're covering today on the show. guys don't forget to take a moment like subscribe and ring that notification bell over on youtube if you don't know already we bring you valuable content every single week to help you grow in your travel businesses that's my personal mission and if you're new here type a little i'm new below i'd love to welcome you to our community if you're new you might not know who i am my name is cindy williams and i started in the travel industry 27 years ago this year i was a baby and 19 years old sold my first million dollars my first year as a travel agent today i own and operate my my own award-winning nationally recognized travel agency, but I'm best known for being the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people just like you launch, grow, and supersize your travel businesses all over the world. And today, guys, we are talking about TikTok. I know you've been on TikTok. Maybe you haven't. Tell me below, like put in comments. Yes, I use TikTok. No, I don't. And then also tell me, do you use it for business? Do you not? I'm really curious about that because this is our first TikTok video. We've actually been testing this with our clients for almost a year now. So we have some really good results and I'm really excited to share best tips on kind of how you can leverage TikTok. And I want to talk through a couple tips for you. So we're going to start with really understanding the whys. Why should I use TikTok? Like, didn't that start as like a kid app? Remember it started as Musical.ly and then it got bought and then it evolved into this mega platform that it is today, right? So should you use TikTok? Here's a couple whys and why I think you should use TikTok. It's free, right? It costs you nothing to create content over on TikTok. And as long as you know how to put some conversion measures in place, you can convert off of TikTok too, but it is free. That's the first one. It does have conversion potential. We have proven that in the stats and the things that we've been testing. So that's great news, right? It is a newer, relatively newer platform if you compare it to how long things like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram have been around, right? And has over a billion users at this point worldwide. And you can grow a community without ad spend. And that can be a big thing, right? Like sometimes on other platforms, you run ads for the purpose of growing your community. That can be a strategy. And with TikTok, you can grow a free community, similar to like how you would do organic growth on Facebook or again, a growth on Instagram. You can do those free as well, right? But it's free too. So that's definitely why it's on the why list. And guys, by the way, if you came upon this video and you're like, I'm just thinking about being a travel agent, maybe you saw us right over on TikTok. We're on TikTok. Make sure you follow everything we're doing over there. But wherever you found us, you're thinking, do I want to be a travel agent? Is this for me? I didn't even know you could be a travel agent. Yes, travel agents are so in demand right now, you guys. And if you're in that think about thinking about it phase, go over and grab my masterclass, The Five Shifts to a Six-Figure Travel Business and Beyond. It's right here. I'm gonna put the link down below in the comments as well, and it's there on the screen, careersonvacation.com slash masterclass. A lot of my top clients started with that free class. So check that out if you're in think about it phase, so you know all the do's and don'ts with getting into the industry, what to avoid, all that good stuff. But today we're really talking about the whys of getting into TikTok. Should you do it? Is it for you? So we kind of walked through a few of the whys. Let me give you um, who I think TikTok is really good for. So if you are on really limited resources, maybe you don't have a marketing budget. Maybe you're doing your travel business hobby level. Maybe you're dipping your toe in and you're not really ready to put a real robust marketing machine in place yet that's okay. Maybe TikTok is perfect for you because it's free. It costs you time and it costs you energy because it takes a lot to make that consistent content on TikTok, right? But it is free. It's not going to cost you anything out of your pocketbook. So if you're limited on resources, I think it can be great for you. The second group that I think it can be good for is those of you who have time to do TikTok. And here's the thing. As a marketer, I know because we test all of the things, but I have a big team to test all of the things. The typical travel agent, right, at home working solo, or maybe you're running a travel agency and you have 20, 30, 50 agents, 
Time is your biggest commodity. Do you have time to take on another platform? If you do, great. If you have a team where you can delegate some other stuff off or someone can maybe build some TikTok content on behalf of your agency, because in order to really resonate and build on any platform, you have to be able to have that time to commit. So the good news is you guys don't have to do all the things, right? But if you have time, then maybe it's a fit for you. So kind of think about as we're going down this list, check this box. Like everyone loves free. We probably all check that one, right? Do I really have the time to do it well? If you don't have time to do it well, you know, test a couple videos, but that's not really going to get you very far. You have to really put a a strategic effort towards any platform. TikTok is no exception, right? And um, the last thing to think about in terms of it's free, in terms of you have, do you have the time to do it, is the commitment that that kind of is behind the whole TikTok engine, right? So can you do it? And this, I'm gonna kind of roll into my best tips for doing TikTok. Being consistent on TikTok, you get rewarded. Like we know a little bit about the algorithm, right, from doing all the testing that we're doing. But TikTok rewards consistency, just like any platform. They reward if you're on the platform, if you're interacting, if you're engaging, though you get kind of like credit, if you will, and your stuff is gonna rank a little higher. Do you have the ability, and I'm sure you have the ability, let me rephrase that. Do you have the time, again, it's really time. Do you have the time to create valuable content because with TikTok, it's, you know, the, if you're a comedian and you're great and you have that comic bone in your body, yes, you can have a really big TikTok. And we've actually, a couple of our clients who are in uh, our programs, they, we have some funny ones out there that did go viral and they absolutely got clients from that. So the funny ones can be fun too. But if that's just not your personality or that doesn't come easily to you, the other big win that you can do with TikTok is really delivering valuable content, whether it's you giving tips about a certain resort, whether it's you sharing about the updates that are going on in the world right now. If you can think about making your content value-based, that's really big. And again, that stuff takes time, right? Here's the good news though. If you are going to lean in to TikTok, this is one of those things where if you're putting valuable content out, you can repurpose it other places, right? The, what TikTok really is, and TikTok has kind of exploded, uh, has opened a new really method, if you will, or medium, I should say. And what they call it, what we call it in the marketing world is micro content, right? It's that content that's 30 or 60 seconds long. It's kind of started back in 2000, well, what was it? 2017, 18, when IGTV rolled out, right? And we're like, oh, we're going to be able to do these uh, under 10 minutes. And then they had IG stories, which are like, we're 30 seconds or like certain blocks of time, right? 15 seconds max. So Micro content was kind of like hinted at, but TikTok blew it up and made micro content like the thing. So Instagram is following suit, right? We have Instagram reels and you also have, now you have YouTube shorts. These are other places you can share that content, right? Now I will say, like you guys know I'm a marketer at heart, helping you grow your travel businesses. We teach people every day how to get their marketing machines in place. One of the things though that the algorithm that the platforms know about each other, TikTok knows when it's a reel and, and an Instagram reel, and Instagram knows when it's a TikTok. So it's a real funny game trying to take that. Like in an ideal world, you could make one video and let me just put it all the places, right? So there's ways to do that, but there's like some tricky behind the scenes systems you have to do. But point being is when you're starting out, don't complicate it. If you make a TikTok, you can save that TikTok and technically you can push that over to Instagram. You can push it over to YouTube Shorts. You can put it out in your email series. There's different ways you can multi-purpose. So, cause sometimes people think, well, I'm gonna make a 15, 60 second video and then what good is that? Well, you can actually leverage it in different places in your marketing machine. And that goes for anything. That's not just TikTok. You guys should always be thinking about how to leverage whatever you're taking time. Cause the hardest part is building the content, creating it and having it out in the world. So the a lot of people stop there, right? Like you had, don't run the marathon and not cross the finish line. Think about where you can be multi-purposing content. So guys, those are kind of my best whys, why it's a good 
idea to do TikTok, who it might be good for, right? Remember, if you have the time to do it, if you're low on resources, if you, and also if you like it, right? That's the other big one. If you don't particularly enjoy TikTok, then it, don't pick that platform. It's okay. Like you can have another mix. But if you love being on TikTok and you love that environment and you love getting stuff out, you can start to build a community. The whole goal is to really start to grow that community. And then remember, I'm, I, what we teach in our programs is how are you going to convert that traffic off of a, whatever platform you're working with and turn that person into a customer. So it absolutely is a viable platform for converting customers. So if you are low on resources and you have the time, that's my those are my tips with TikTok. And guys, I want to remind you, this is what we do at Careers on Vacation every day. We teach all different levels of the starter beginner travel agent, experienced travel agent, and we work with all kinds of agency owners all over the world to up level their marketing, their systems, their processes, a really holistic approach to growth overall in your travel businesses. So if what I'm saying resonates or you know you need help with all of this stuff, I know it's so much with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube shorts, reels, stories, I mean, Google, all it all goes on, the list goes on and on and on. I've been doing this for almost 30 years now, right? And I do have a passion for travel. I do have a passion for marketing and that we would like nothing more than to help you for sure. So go over to careersonvacation.com. You can read all about the different offerings that we have. Our most popular program is Careers on Vacation. We have a new agent track and an experienced agent track, which means we are helping you at whatever level that you're at. The difference in our programs, guys, is you get to work with real people. You're going to work with my team of experts that got my businesses to where they are today. That's a, some pictures of my amazing team members and the experts that I that I hired to help you guys. And we have over 130 video case studies, the most case studies in the travel industry for educational programs. So we're so thrilled. Thank you to our clients for helping us with that and sharing their amazing stories. That's amazing. But uh, guys, no matter whether you use my program or not, I love you. I wish you so much love, so much abundance, and I wish you the world. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. If you like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the video.